What up, it's your boy Young Lennon, Chu Jackson. We at Gorilla Tattoo. I'm about to get tatted up. We're about to do an interview with Alabaster and shit. Facts, we out. She can not ride in a Rari, sorry. She can get fucked if she calls me. Yeah. I don't know, Papa no Molly. Molly. She gon' come touch on my body. Yeah. I got that rap on my body. Yeah. All of these hitters can't stop me. Yeah. We gon' run up the party. Yeah. Yeah. We just yeah. run the party. I'm Alabaster Slade, the small town Slade. I'm here with Chu Jackson. What up? Chu, tell us about yourself. Like, where are you from? What do you do? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm Chu Jackson. I'm originally from uh, Vero Beach, Florida. I'm an artist, um, you know, influencer. <laughs> uh, Fashionista. Yeah, yeah, sort of. Just a creative person, you know. Trying to um, make where I'm from better and shit, you know. And who I am, trying to be a better person. You know? That's about it. So you make music though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I forget uh, that sometimes. So how so how did you get into music and like what was your start like? Um, I was always it was always in me. I can't even lie. My start was just like I remember just being like always having music in my head and stuff like that. And like um, me and my friends, like we were, I would go to my friend's house and he had like this tape cassette like old type of recorded thing and like we were like I will make all the beats on the table and we would just make songs and we would just fill up a whole tape and that's why were you knocking on the table yeah 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 yep. that's what I kind of knew and then my brother kind of knew that so he kind of pushed it on me more like you know he was just like make me do shit like make me do his favorite songs and stuff like that you know so yeah that's what kind of that's what it kind of came from, stemmed from. And then what did it evolve into? It evolved into craziness, being like a, just wanting to learn about more music and learn about certain uh, rock stars and how they lived and shit, like, and just want to be like some of the rock stars, just be one myself, you know what I mean? Not, everybody wants to say rock star, but I just want to say, like, you know, be a true artist and just, like, be and influence other artists and, you know, help them out and shit like that, you know what I mean? So, so what was your, like, real start in music? Did you have a group or were you just yeah, putting stuff yeah, out yeah, yourself? Yeah. Or? Uh, yeah, it was real start was after high school, when we were doing high school. It was my group Fresh Money with me, my friend Swain, my Stax, uh, Sav, well, Phil, 800, 800K, and, uh, Jimmy Slim, you know, Cadet, you know, it started with that, yeah, in high school, you know. And y'all started recording stuff and doing shows. Or yeah, what? we were we weren't really doing really sh that many shows. We did a few that were actually successful to us, you know. Right. We did one at the rec center a while. It was a lot of lot of kids in there, you know. It was funny as hell. Then we did one in Marshall at Marshall University. I think it was like somewhere in West Virginia. Nobody was paying attention to us, but we was up there rocking. We give a fuck, you know what I mean? Right. And we would just like make hella tapes on on Lloyd's Mac, on Sav's MacBook, and just like bringing to school. We had the teachers listen to our shit. We had big ass songs in school, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, so that's how I kind of started for real. And then, then where did it go from there? And then it went to me touring the world, going so, kind of going solo and I wouldn't say going solo, I just figured out that I had more of an input in what could influence the next five years. So I figured like that's why I was chosen, I don't know by who, by God, whatever, to like just do it, be the first one to like step out and do it, do a solo thing and make it and take it for, further and then I could help my boys on the way up. But, so are you like signing stuff now? Or? No, I'm indie. Totally indie? indie? Yeah, totally indie. But you, you're somehow connected to Mac Miller, right? Yeah, he he found me if you if that's what you want to say. Uh, him and um, Quinn Q Cuff, he was my uh, manager at the time. Uh, yeah, they like found me, you know, from a small ass town, you know what I mean? And then you know, we here. They found me and put put a little push behind me, gave me some fans, and that's all I needed, you know what I mean? So you've gotten to tour the country, tour the world, and you know, tour Canada and shit like that. You know? What were some of the biggest shows you did or some of your favorite shows? Toronto, for sure. For real? Toronto was the best show. I, to this day, nothing has beat it. How many albums you got out? Shoot. Oh, fuck. I got Beer Flavor Pizza, uh, Broken Hearts Make Money, 
parade, pray for the best, chew where you're going. So I think like six right now, six solo projects by myself. Who are some of your favorite artists that you've gotten to work with? I haven't gotten to work with my favorite artists yet, but some of the, obviously Matt was one of the big, you know, big stepping stones and working with him and seeing how he worked and um, just getting advice from him and shit, that shit changed my life, man. It turned me to a complete artist, I think. I think what he, well, me watching him turned me into a complete artist, I feel like. Do you have favorite songs you recorded? Uh, yeah. I think one of my favorite ones that I didn't know until I like, it connected to people, I think was All Alone, one of them. Um, obviously like, you know, like, Swangers and shit like that, you know, like, fucking, um, all the shit that people love, I love as well, but I, like I was telling Berkey earlier, you know, I love new shit, so everything I make new, I love now, right. you know what I mean? Is that because you, you just feel like you're always doing the next best, your next, next yeah. best thing? Or? Yeah, it's always about getting better. It's always about, I treat it like the gym, you know what I mean? It's always like, just go go work on your shot, you know what I mean? And then you might, by working on your shot so much, you might pull out a 360 windmill dunk one time, you know what I mean? And then people love you for that dunk, but you never give it to them again because that's not what it's about. It's about the little things, you know? All right. So what are, what are you up to now? You, you still record music? Yeah, you I got record. stuff going out, yeah, coming out? Yeah, I record a lot, man. I got, um, I just put out the Forever Cool compilation tape with my boys uh, before the Dirt Volume 1. That's out right now. You can get that everywhere. Um, and then on my birthday, I'm dropping this project I dedicated to my mother. It's called Lynn. It's her middle name is where I come up with Young Lennon. Don't you have a documentary or something coming out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take my time on it and work on it. I wanted to come out later, and you know, I just started on it now. So like, when it's when it when the story is um, at a certain place, then you know, I'll get it ready and stuff like that. You yeah. actually turned me on to some stuff. Uh, I can't remember which show or what. You turned me on to Power. Power, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went home and watched that. And fire, yeah. That. Fire, fire. Yeah. Is there a lot? Any other TVs and shows and stuff you're digging on? Ozark. On Ozark. Netflix. I've fucking heard of it, but must. I haven't checked it out. Fucking must. I'm going to take your advice because I didn't know about fucking Power. I, went home. I think I brought up Empire to you and you're like, no. I was. Me. I was on Empire, but that shit just got too. I don't like shit that don't end. Like, I need a show that has a fucking. If it's a season, cool. Let's fit. Let's get this shit over with. Right. Like, I don't like shit that got. 15 seasons, like, I don't give a fuck after the first two seasons. Right, right. and then it starts getting wild. Start getting wild, people start doing weird shit, like, people start smoking, doing heroin and shit, doing fucking crack and shit. Yeah. Musically, what are you into? Everything. Like, all kinds of stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I like, in my crib, when I'm at the crib smoking, I just listen to, like, rock shit, like, because um, I feel like there's a lot of hidden melodies and, and styles inside guitars. Right. That I try to channel vocally. You know, that just hits, that's that's why I guitar. I right. feel like my voice is like I could use it like a guitar, you know, so yeah. I, I try to channel that and um but no nah, rock I listen to everything rap though, like all the new rap, I listen right. to everybody. What's cause. what's one of your favorite rappers that's out right now? That's out right now? Hmm, that's hard to say. Sorry. That's hard. That's yeah. hard to say, man. Damn. What's something you listen to like on the daily? Something I listen to on a daily right now is probably, hmm, because I find new music. That's like my thing. Right. I'm into finding so new music. So it's constantly It's evolving. constantly. I have to constantly have some new shit to bring to my friends. You right. know what I mean? Because we like new shit. But, um, fuck. Like, obviously I'll turn on Cudi at any, any point. Um, I'll turn on Kanye at any point. I'll turn on fucking um, Andre 3000 at any point. Um, but I listen to all the new SoundCloud shit. Wait, yeah. if you want to call it SoundCloud shit, all the new artists that's coming up on that platform, I listen to all that shit because I feel like that shit is me too. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm part of that. You like uh, Vans high tops or low tops? Low top. These ain't Vans. I'm looking at them like yeah. But that's the low top Vans. Yeah, 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 low top Vans. Yeah, these the. Uh, when when you're wearing Vans, what do you prefer? Look, I always buy the low tops. I don't never, I don't have a pair of high top Vans. And I got a shit ton of Vans, because that's all I bought for real. Yeah. You fuck with the iPhone or the Android? iPhone, for sure. Fuck all that Android shit. Yeah, I've never been with that. <laughs> that cartoons. You got a favorite cartoon? Uh, Old and new, whatever. 
Uh, new, new cartoon is probably regular show. I love, I love that shit. Um, but really, I be watching a bunch of animes. Like I be watching fucking, fucking um, Sally, what is it? Seven Deadly Sins. I've been watching that. That shit's tight. It's on Netflix. Uh, I like Attack on Titan. Brad got me into that heavy. Um, of course, I like Dragon Ball Z. You know, got that tatted on me at a at a quick age. You know. Yeah, I just be watching anime, weird shit. Sometimes it don't even be having English, and it just be the fucking straight. With the subtitles. Japanese. Yeah, hell yeah. You got you still playing trailers and stuff? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm about to go on tour soon. I can't really say nothing about it. Right. I'm about to go on tour. Yeah, for sure. You got a favorite video you've done? Probably this world is probably the, my, my favorite video because everybody was so like hungry to prove to be to prove how creative we was. I think we still is creative. Every video that I did, I ever done. It's been off like just, just a whim. Like we never like we every time we try to plan and write out treatments, that shit never goes right. So we just fucking all right. We doing a video? Okay, cool. I kind of had this idea, dog. Well, all right. He takes that and then flips it and then makes it into something better. And then I'm like, cool. I'm happy. Right. You know, it's not like, it's not like all that planning and shit. You know, when you get the budget for that shit, cool. But I don't give a fuck. You know, I'll, I'll make it happen. That's all it's about with me make it happen. Right. When I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So you got to meet a lot of your idols and stuff like that, or, or, or a lot of people you. I got you to really meet a know. lot of people, but not my idols. Nah. No. Nah. nah. Not my idols, man. Like I met Tyler the Creator. Uh, I seen a picture of you with Wiz. Yeah, I met with. Uh, okay, okay, I lied. I, uh, I lied. I lied. I did meet one of one of my, you know, one of my favorite artists. You all get I to lied. smoke up and stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. I actually. Yeah, man, that was crazy. I never, I never really told this story on camera or nothing, but like, it was a, you know, the band, uh, the Internet. Yeah. So we were, they had a show in Pittsburgh. I like chill with Wiz's uncle, he was a promoter, you know, sometimes he has a, like radio show in Pittsburgh called the Bird Boys and shit. And he does it with my friend Flat, you know, they um, co-host it. So I hang out with him and shit. Yeah, man, I went to this concert and we was just chilling backstage, drinking and shit, and um, I'm talking to my friend. Um, me, I just like look and I'm like, oh shit, this motherfucking nigga Wiz just walk in, like talking about rock star, like that's that's one, right? right. You know what I mean? So I see that nigga walk in and shit. You know, I ain't, I'm not like, you know, I, I be chilling, you know, right. I'm not no, you know, I don't be on no group and chilling, right. but I got huge respect. So, you know, we chilling and shit, and then he just start, he's talking, while he's talking, he's giving game at the same time. That's what made me respect him way more, because he's in a room full of people he don't know, right. but he knows his artists in there, but he just was giving game about how, like, you know, just, just the industry and people and shit like that. Did you end up getting to talk to him? Well, I mean, yeah, hold on. <laughs> so we get, like, we get back, and we leave there, we smoke, I'm high as fuck, finish the concert, so, like... We leave there, and I'm like, cool, I'm going home, whatever. So he's like, nah, whip around to the studio, and then we go to the studio, it's everybody in there. Now it's like a party in the studio, like, you, y'all, you guys seen his episodes and shit. It's really like that, like, when I walked in there, like, he was the first one, like, yo, you made it, like, I was like, yo, it's crazy. He knew who you were. I, I wouldn't say he knew who I was, but he he seen me from earlier, so he was just like, right. cool, you came to the, another spot, cool. That's cool, so. so, you know, we in there, as soon as we get in there, I think it was um Ricky P, he hands me a, no lie, no lie, a bong off the ground, this big. Good. Yeah, bro, I swear to God. I tried to turn it down, and he was like, nah, bro, nah, you got it. Like, Fuck! Mind you, it's like four in the morning, so I hit the bong. Then by that time I'm drunk, super high. I'm like, fuck, man. So like, he's in the he's in the studio. E Dan is running the session, so he's in the studio and like, I'm just watching him make this song. I can't remember the song. I'm watching him make this song. Like this dude records the exact same ways I do. Like he wasn't even writing nothing. He just went in there and just punching it. You know what I mean? It was crazy. But I didn't really get a good conversation with him. When we took the picture, I I told him though. I, I believe in giving people their flowers while they're here, while they're here. So I told him like you one of my, you know, favorite artists and shit like that. You know? And I told him we would work at the same studio, but you know, it's real. Fucking, you know, right, 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 right. But I, it, it was, it was big for me. If he never know who I am, then that was big. For me. Right. 
You got other than Mac, obviously. You got other other people you've met that you were like, hell yeah, that was cool. So like, yeah, have you met Migos or? I went. No, I didn't meet. No, I went to their show though in in L. A. at uh, it was a ham radio and shit, and I seen every fucking rapper in there at that party. I saw like, uh, I don't know if you know who uh, A Track is. Yeah. He was walking by me mad times. I met Schoolboy Q at like at South by Southwest like three years ago. And then I met Vic Mensa there. Uh, I met, I, I'll kind of talk to like Dom Kennedy. I'll say what's up to him, you know. Um, me and, I went on tour with Chance, Vince, Staples, and um, the internet. And at the same time on the Space Migration Tour with Matt. So I met a lot of people. I just be high and I just be forgetting, right. you know, because they probably don't even remember me right now. But was South by Southwest cool to play? The first time with yeah. Matt. After that, nah, fuck that shit. Nah, yeah, nah. Cause you I mean, you know, if you're not like a superstar, you ain't get no love. So right, and it's all spread out. It's all spread yeah. out. It's not for me. I'd rather go there when I'm important. That's just my that's my take on it. Mm. I don't really care about that shit. I'm not the type of artist to like try to throw myself in people because I know that's that always turns bad. Like when you try to throw yourself right. in people, nah. If you you heard of me, thank you. Right. You know what I mean? If you More don't, organic. yeah. If you don't know me, then I'ma just walk by like I don't know you neither. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just like that, yeah. True. So what's the favorite tattoo you got on your body? Uh, it's probably the one you did, the Forever Cool one. You know, cause that um, that's like my friends. That's my lifestyle. You know, that's my. Indie label, I'm trying to get really started this year, and it just you know means everything to me. The loyalty, and they, everybody that represents that shit is loyal to me. So I had it tatted on me. So, yeah. That means a lot to me because I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Um, yeah. So in closing, like, how can people find you? you uh, know? you can find me on Instagram at um Chew Got Your Beer. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, Gap Tooth Chew. Uh, you can find me on Snapchat uh, with Gap Tooth N Word, just the letter N. And then, um, yeah, YouTube. Nigga, just Google me. <laughs> Facts. I appreciate you coming in here and doing this with me. Nah, I appreciate your tats, man. Always. Be looking forward to hearing more music. Hell yeah, Same new album's soon, coming soon. My new album, Lynn, dedicated to my mom, coming out on June 19th. And uh, the Forever Cool tape is already out, you know? Before the Dirt Volume 1. It's on everything, every streaming platform out. Go get that. That's True Jackson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>